But I have always just loved colour in all sorts of forms, whether it be in fashion or homewares, just because it makes me feel happy. It yeah. makes me feel um, comfortable. I don't, I've, I have tried out um, toning it down various times for various professions I've been in and I've never felt comfortable. So, um, you know, it, it, it's been perfect because I was an accountant for about 15 years. So. That was very difficult wearing beige suits. But how it all started, I was living overseas and my love for colour attracted me to quite different forms of, of homewares that I, I mm. saw over there that I couldn't find in Australia. So, um, I, you know, through the years of living there and working there, I thought, you know, if, if it's not available in Australia, well, I'll, I'll bring it to Australia. So I do all my buying over in um, New York and Atlanta and we're going to uh, London and Paris in, in January. That's probably going to be a bit more subdued, but yes. you know, look, there is a lot of colour in the States and a lot of beautiful homewares. So yes, it was that. So it was the love of colour and it was also the love of something different yes. that um, inspired us to create the store. And I had been buying these sort of pieces for my home for a long time. Oh, I see. So and the store is an extension of the house. That's the right. The house is not an extension of the store. The house has become more of an extension of the store yes. since the store has been open. Oh, yes. <laughs> it must be difficult not to just bring things home. I know. It's, mm. yeah, there's so many things here that I, that I see that I love. And, you know, at the same time, I, I sometimes think, no, look, I really should just leave that here for someone else, you know, to mm. be able to take home because I love... I love people being able to create an atmosphere like I have here. Yes. Um, my favourite things, my very favourite thing is, um, of course, my photos, my very precious mm. photographs. Um, but apart from that, there are some things that I that do mean a lot to me. One is the Susie Stanford chair um, over one. there, yes, yep. which is um, made, you know, which is just so typical. It's so quirky. It it's made of vintage. Um, tea towels. It's made by a lady, a designer in Melbourne, who is as mad as a cut snake. Um, so, you know, that's the sort of thing. I love dealing with designers who have got a lot of personality yes. and a lot of passion. And so I love that chair. The other things that do mean a lot to me are the um, London figurines I've been collecting. Uh -huh. um, and they, both my, my daughter and my daughter-in-law, um, bought those for me for their when they got married for organising their weddings. So they're very again they're colourful, they're quirky, they're limited. So all those things that that I that are part of the store and part of my home. I think most of those things, of course, apart from you know the photographs, which oh, are just yes. basic, but everything else has got a lot of um, of. You know, it's it's that quirkiness and that uniqueness that, that I am attracted to. Yes. yes.